Namaste! Hey guys! Guess what? I'm back again. I'm doing the fifth high vibrational video in a row. And this is on the fifth chakra, the blue or the throat chakra, which is represented by the color blue. So we've got, I have chosen the blue um, Jesus prayer candle. It's the Lord's prayer. The prayer on this candle says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. All right. The Lord's Prayer. Love it. Okay, so we're going to feature today's high vibrational video on the throat chakra. Represented, like I said, by the color blue. I've picked out three beautiful crystals that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. First, we are going to clear the energy. I'm going to use some Palo Santo spurs. And I'm a little bit tired today, guys. I, I think getting those tattoos yesterday really wore me out. So, I don't know. Bear with me through this one. I may not go too long in it. <laughs> okay, so... In this here and now moment, as I'm about to tap into Christ consciousness, the source consciousness, into the highest good, I ask that only beings of love and light, only beings for our highest good are allowed to participate, only beings of our highest good, our soul family, anyone that is here for their highest good are allowed to stay and attend this video. If you are not here for the highest good, please exit now because only my soul family my spirit guides, the angels, the divine, which is God in heaven, Jesus Christ, source consciousness, everyone of the soul, in, from the soul, is allowed to participate. And, and no evil, no bad, no negativity, none of it. Not allowed here. All right. And I'm going to do a little bit of sweet, sweet grass today. I burned some yesterday and I loved it. So I'm going to do sweet grass again today instead of the sage. Sweet grass is very protective. It has a very different smell than that of sage. It's it's much sweeter. Like like it, I mean, you would assume that because it's <laughs> it's called sweet grass, um, but it, it has extremely protective energies in it. So again, only beings of high vibrational love and light are allowed to come in. This is a high vibrational reading, and this reading is or message is to raise the vibrations of the planet and only people who are interested in that are welcome. All right, guys. So, or if you're interested in learning about that, you're also welcome. But if you're coming from a low vibrational state or if you have evil intent, goodbye. All right, guys. So I'm going to, I'm going to start before I do, do the prayer. I'm going to start by ringing the doorbell saying, hello, God. And bringing us all into the same frequency using the singing bowl. All right, here we go. All right. I know I say that every time. And then I say that every time. <laughs> Okay, so before I go into the crystals, I'm going to say a prayer real quick. I invite you to join me. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, without you, I wander around aimlessly. I'm out of focus and I'm distracted. So once again, I come to you with the company of my family my soul family, my beloveds. And I ask that you bring me back into focus and get the and remove distractions. I ask for guidance and direction. I am here. Please speak to me. Show me. Clear away the clutter in my mind so that I may see clearly. 
Fill me with the spirit of truth. Let me not be afraid to see, to speak the truth. Please bring the messages through clearly for me today so that I may pass this divine information on in the most clear and precise manner. Guide me, Lord. Guide me as you did for your beloved son. He went seeking your presence for guidance and comfort like I am now. He did not lose his way. Even when he saw pain and sacrifice and evil ahead of him, he chose the narrow path that leads to you, God. I know I won't do it perfectly. I know I may stumble and or stray at times, but I know that you always bring me back, always, to the path that leads to my salvation. My, lo my life, my love, my faith is in you, God. Through Jesus Christ's name, amen. All right, guys. So we're listening to a little bit of uh, meditation music in the background. YouTube, YouTube approved. It's called God is Love. All right. So the crystals that I chose today to work with the throat chakra, which is the fifth chakra located in the area around your throat, is number one this is one of my favorite pieces this is a piece of blue apatite this is another one of my palm stones that i hold while i'm meditating blue apatite is a stone of inspiration it inspires you to be yourself there's there's no reason to um hide your truth from the world so this keeps you from doing that this is a stone for personal power it works for the throat. It helps with um, being able to speak clearly, to um, speak up. It also wards away negativity. Very high vibrational. It works with. It works helping us to be able to communicate. Um, also, it works for physically. It works for the uh, not just the throat chakra, but the glands in your throat, your thyroid function. Um, so that's a good one for that. The next one is turquoise. I picked a beautiful piece of turquoise, which turquoise is actually one of my very most favorites. Turquoise is a uh, crystal that helps you to express your thoughts. Um, it's actually uh, considered, some people call it aquamarine, um, but this is turquoise. Um, it's an excellent stone for purification. Um, it makes a good companion um, for protection against outside influences or negativity. I love turquoise. Love it. Okay. The next one I chose today is chrysocolla. Somebody call, some people say chrysocolla. I call it chrysocolla because that's what I've heard it to be. It's a wonderful throat chakra stone for uh, reducing emotional turmoil because it's calming and strengthening at the same time. Uh, it encourages communication, impartiality, truth-telling, and unblocks the throat chakra. So that's a great one. And I've got multiple pieces of this. I actually found, I'm going to jump up real quick and show you. I actually found two pieces of this in the ground when we were helping my friend Chrissy dig out her, her pool, her area in her backyard where her pool is going to go. I actually found a couple pieces of it natural in the, nat in the nature. So I thought I would share that real quick. All right. Okay, guys. So the throat chakra. Grab my handy dandy chart. Okay, the throat chakra. The fifth chakra. It's also called Vishuddha. Vishuddha. Located in the throat area. Area. Sorry. Aerial. <laughs> area. It is helpful with creativity, speech, individual needs, and will. The very pure relates to either the respiratory system, to the higher intelligence, and the power of communication. The main issue for or the prime function or the main issue it helps with is communication and healing creativity seeing the whole individual seeing the one will the divine principle the goal is that it helps with speech and expression articulation and creative communication 
Physical properties, the parathyroid, balance of the yin and yang, and the male versus female. Anatomical connections, throat and neck, parathyroid, ears, sinus, respiratory system, mainly thyroid. Emotional connections, feelings and openness, ideas, healing nature, life force, creativity, and communication. Okay, the planet is Mercury. The element is ether. The aromatherapy, eucalyptus. The metal is mercury. The sound is e. The food is fruit. The angel is Shiva. The fragrance is frankincense. The incense is sandalwood, and the gemstones are turquoise or azurite. I used tur turquoise. I don't have any azurite right now, so I chose these other two. All right, so before we go any further, I'm going to pull a Archangel Michael prayer for us today to watch over our message here. And Archangel Michael, what prayer do you feel would best suit us today as we raise our vibrations featuring the throat chakra? Oh, okay. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Okay, very good. I picked sense of humor. Sense of humor. The prayer. Thank you for helping me to see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I'm willing to view my experiences in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. That's a beautiful one. I've never gotten that one before. So we'll set that guy there. The once again I have white um I have quartz crystals sitting on all the decks. Um this is to um make sure that I'm trying to make sure that the answers or the messages that we need to see today come out clearly. Um the quartz crystal is the highest vibrational crystal there is, so I just kind of plop one on top of each one of those decks. All right, what angel answers? Woo! Okay, well, they have lots of answers for us today. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to try that again. Laugh at me, guys. Sense of humor. Okay. Which angel answer card would best suit us today? We just need one. We just need one. What a what angel answers card? Oh my goodness, this is a, this is amazing. I cannot believe I just pulled this. Okay, we're talking about the throat chakra, okay? How it helps you with speech, communication. Look at the card that came out. Speak from the heart. Speak from the heart. And it's blue. Are you kidding me? Speak from the heart. Okay, I'm going to set that guy there. And I'm going to read... The beautiful message that comes with that card. Speak from the heart. The keywords are truth, communication, and honesty. The angel is on, ca on canon. The angel of communication. And the message. We are conditioned to believe that we need to say things in order to please others. Spe speaking from the heart is not only about speaking your truth, but also about empowering your words with love and compassion. When you speak openly and honestly, your words carry strength and deeper meaning. When you allow others to do the same, you are honoring and empowering them. There may be times when you need to adjust your words in order not to hurt others' feelings, but always try to be truthful and kind. Speaking from the heart allows you to openly share with others your truth, true beliefs, feelings, hopes, and joys, as well as the struggles. By doing so, you will be able to draw friends and family closer to you, sharing and acknowledging each other's authentic selves. I love that. Love that. Speak from the heart. Yes. <laughs> that is so fitting for our reading. Okay, guys. So let's start with the Energy Oracle and just check out the overall energy today that we need to focus on. I'm asking my spirit team up there, my protectors, my guides, the divine. I'm asking God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, everyone out there, my whole team, my wonderful, beautiful, unconditionally loving team. I'm asking for, I got it, the energy today. Just stick that 
that back on there. And we got Door to Value. Door to Value, card number 31. Okay, so intuitively what I feel from this card is this. There is way more to life than money. In this card, I see a picture opened up, or I see doors opened up, and I see money spilling out, okay? There is more to life than money. Raising your vibration is more important than making the dollar, the almighty dollar, okay? The Have you ever heard that saying that the money is root, the root to all evil? Well, it may not be exactly that, but it darn sure is close. So, we absolutely want to be careful what we are choosing that is valuable in our life and open the door to those things and th that's to help us remain high vibrational and that's a very good message i love that next i'm going to go with the wisdom oracle and we will see what kind of what little pearl of wisdom do we have today that will help us raise our vibrations using the heart chakra oh boy I've never pulled this one before either. And it's blue. <laughs> well, it's blue and purple. Okay, we got card number 39. New life. New life. Yes, I love that. Okay, so intuitively what I get off this card is this. Right now, us as lightworkers, as spiritual beings, we are undergoing a metamorphosis, so to speak. We're undergoing a shift, um, a leap in, in our awareness, a lot of people are coming awake right now. Their third eye is wakening up. And it is opening them up to a new life. And the, the most high vibrational thing you can do is be open to that. Absolutely, without a doubt. The most high vibrational thing you can do is to being open to a new way of life. Being willing to follow along a divine pathway set before you. Even if it means it changes everything about your life. That is where you raise your vibration. So that's beautiful. I'm about ready to start a, a new life in a new house. And I'm super excited. I gotta tell you. Okay. The next one I'm going to pull is from the Ancestor, Angels and Ancestors deck. And let's see what pearl of wisdom that the Ancestors hold for us today. What little pearl of wisdom do our Ancestors the ones who have tread before us, learned all the lessons before us. What what information, spirits, do you have today to share with everyone who's watching regarding the heart chakra and raising our, or the throat chakra, I'm sorry, the throat chakra, stuck on yesterday's video, and raising our vibrations through healing our throat chakra. What beautiful message do you have today? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Beautiful. We got, and it's funny because I just said, okay, we got guardian angel. You are not alone. I find white feathers everywhere. These are left to me from my grandma. That is a sign that she's around me. I have a lot of them. I save every single one of them. White feathers are very angelic and I'm telling you right now, I don't care what's going on in your life. I don't care what kind of, I mean, I care, but it doesn't matter what's going on in your life. It doesn't matter what struggles you're over, uh, overcoming. We're going to say it that way, overcoming, enduring, overcoming. Um, it doesn't matter how alone you feel you are. You are never alone. The angels are always around you. They're always, always, always around you. And they are literally just sitting there waiting for you to ask them to help you raise your vibration. They, but God, he, he gave us this thing called free will. So we have to ask for it. If you want angel blessings, you have to ask for it because they won't just plop them down into your lap. Well, they do. A lot of times they do. We just don't realize it. Um, but they absolutely are waiting on the, on the outstretch out, out on the, on their wings. We'll say it that way, waiting for us to invite them in and ask them for help and Let's just, let me just tell you, I ask the angels to help me raise my vibrations constantly, all day, every day, 
I, I pray and I talk to the angels all day, every day, especially since I went through the uh, situation where I was in the hospital for my heart and I saw Archangel uh, Raphael, who was inside my hospital room with me. I actually saw him in there with me and I don't care who believes that or not. I know what I saw. It was amazing. It was life altering and I am forever grateful for that. Okay. Which one should we go for next? Let's go for the sacred forest. All right. Let's see what kind of beautiful message. What kind of a message do you, our spirit family, have today that is hidden within the sacred forest oracle that will help us to raise our vibrations using our throat chakra? Oh, wow. That's a great one. Okay. Oops. I'll just put those guys back. All right. And we got Bear Spirit Healing card number four. Okay. This immediately makes me think in my head, Mama Bear. Mama Bear. So, it makes me think one of the highest vibrational things I've ever done in my life is to birth and raise and love and guide my children. It is so important. It is the highest vibrational thing to show your children unconditional love and to guide them along their life pathway to the best of your ability. God sees you doing that and your vibrations ra raise whenever you do. So God sees everything we do and he sees you when you... I've, I've often said to people, being a mother is one of the most amazing yet the, the most thankless job I've ever done. Because kids kind of nowadays are born with this attitude like you owe them the world just because you gave birth to them. Um... And which, you know, in a, in a way, in a sense, that's true. But, you know, um, nowadays children are a little bit more entitled than they used to be when my kids were younger. Um, it's very healing, my relationship I have with my son. Very, very healing and very high vibrational. Healing. To heal, that comes when you raise your vibration. The healing comes when you raise your vibration. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Okay. I picked the Unicorn Magic deck today. Unicorn Magic. I love this one because it always has a very positive message in it. And so let's see what message comes out in the Unicorn Magic Oracle today. This deck I hardly use, so it's very stiff. All right. We got card number three. Three is a very important number to me. Card number three, create your vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. Do you see this, Kim Magical? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, so very high vibrational message there. Your heart tells you everything before your mind and your eyes do. You need to listen to your heart, do what makes it sing. You, If you're being nudged forward, it's because you need to raise your vibration or that you are raising your vibration and God has faith in you that you are raising your vibration and he's nudging you forward with it. He's telling you, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Raising your vibration. Yes. Love that. Okay. We've got... The Whispers of Healing. What beautiful message do we have in the Whispers of Healing today? My beautiful spirits. My beautiful divine Lord. Angels. Ancestors. I'm calling upon you to share with me a healing message that I can share with everybody who's watching today. Oh boy. I like it. I like it. Okay, we got card number 38, Reliable. Okay, you know what? Let's try to be as reliable as we possibly can. Being reliable not only shows that you are dedicated to somebody or something or, or um, that you are trustworthy, 
Being reliable is very high vibrational. It's very important that we remain reliable. Mostly, we need to remain reliable to God. Mostly, we need to remain reliable to God. We need to, God, God needs to know that he can rely on us to always be there following the pathway he set before us. That is the one of the highest vibrational states is to, or highest vibrational personality traits is to be reliable. And I try to be reliable. That's why even though I'm exhausted today, I am still here doing this beautiful prayer for or this beautiful see. There I go. Okay. Doing this read for you. How's that? All right. <laughs> so the throat chakra. I'm going to read the message. The key words today for the throat chakra are truth, communication, loyalty, serenity, faith, spirituality, creativity, and expression. The cards of the fifth chakra, the throat chakra, reveal at a core level matters of communication. This includes creative focus and your ability to be heard and understood. Being able to communicate the truth you feel in your heart will bring forward all the positive attributes of these cards. When you deny your heart's knowledge, challenge will, represent, or will present itself. Here you will find a definition of personal leadership and redefined beliefs that no longer serve you. Personal responsibility will be brought into play. Okay, so the cards that I chose today, well, the cards that came out for the throat chakra. We will start with the first one. It is bittersweet. Communication. I hold on one second. Okay. Okay. So here you will find a message of personal leadership. Um, redefining beliefs that no longer serve you. Um, okay. Hold on one second. I am on the wrong page. I'm like, why is this not making sense? I am so sorry. Okay. <laughs> I told you I'm tired. Bittersweet. A window is now opened as a door gently closes. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay. Hidden blessings. Celebration tempered by sadness. Protecting someone. Ability to honor others. New horizons. All very high vibrational. Awesome. All right. The next chakra is healing card we got is isolation i've got all i could ever need right here uh self-protection making excuses over preparing never feeling ready to take on action so if we can overcome some of those negative things like not being ready to take an action um being sometimes being over prepared it wipes you out if you're over prepared then when it's time for you to actually sit down and do the task you don't have it in you so protect yourself um but uh, make sure that you are um, you are not isolating. Make sure that you're, you're protecting yourself, not isolating yourself, is basically the message in that card. Okay, the next one. Workaholic. Yes, I understand this one. Okay. Workaholic. Here's the thing. If, if all you, have you ever heard this saying, all work and no play makes, what is it, Jack a dull boy or something like that? If all you do is work, then you don't get to enjoy life. And that's very low vibrational. We need to, yes, we need to work. Yes, we need to make a living. Yes, we need to make money. Yes, we need to uh, accomplish things in our life. But it, we also need to stop, quit working, put, put the hammer and nails down, and take some time to yourself. Don't be a workaholic. Um, raise your vibration by finding balance in that. Love that. The next one is vanity. I need more, bigger, better. Yes, that will make me okay. No, 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 no. That is very low vibrational thinking. We don't want to think that way. We want to uh, like stop this and say, you know what? I have enough. I have, I woke up today. I, I, uh, I look beautiful. I love myself. Um, we don't have, we need to maybe look inside 
for our own validation rather than looking on the outside at what we feel like we need or um, you know, losing ourselves inside of vanity is very low vibrational. Um, we need to cut that out and when you do, you'll start to feel your vibrations rise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, you will. All right. The next one we got expansion. This is very high vibrational expansion. You'll see it when you believe it. Okay. So that's the thing. People are so close minded. If they would just expand their, their truth systems, if they would just expand their minds, open their minds a little bit, that would be the most high vibrational thing for them to do. So that they can see that there is a lot more to life than what you can see with your with your human eyes. Expansion. Very good. Okay. The next one is impatience. If I don't take care of it, it'll never happen. That's the feeling we get with impatience. Let's try to have some patience, guys. I've, I've already told this story to multiple people in my life that... One lesson I've learned from my husband above all of them is to have patience. I am the person who wants it and I want it now. I see it and I want it to happen now. I, I am the worst with impatience and that's very low vibrational. But my husband has taught me patience. That is one of the biggest things he has taught me in life is patience. He just is not in a hurry and he doesn't care if I am. He takes his time. He lets everything unfold according to God's will on its own. And he doesn't try to rush it or push it. And that is why he remains so high vibrational. I love that. Okay, the next one we got is quest. When I am somewhere else, my life will have meaning. Okay, so being open to wisdom, imagining dangers, com being committed to our path. We're on a quest here. Us as light workers, us as human beings, we're here on a divine quest. And as long as we follow that pathway and we explore that quest and we um, we go along that journey that we're on, <clears throat> follow that journey, then we are choosing high vibrational states of being. So very good. I love all of the throat chakra messages that we got today. And... We are going to pull a empath empowerment message. Empath empowerment message. What wonderful message do the empaths need to hear today? Okay, we got opinions are the oh, I'll put these back real quick first. Opinions are the lowest form of knowledge. Do not be thrown off by others' opinions. Simply say, I appreciate your input and do what intuitively feels right to you. In that, you will raise your vibrations, you guys, I promise. Follow your intuition before you follow someone else's opinion. Listen to what you feel inside your heart. What you, Brandon, I'm trying to do a video here. Listen to what you um, you hear with your heart instead of your ears. Um, pay attention to your intuition. Um, because if you listen with your ears and you hear everybody's opinions, it will. those opinions are not always going to be what you want to hear. People are all full of opinions. And they love to share them out. And a lot of those opinions are full of criticism. And that's low vibrational. And we don't need to deal with that at all um just yeah say i appreciate your input and then you just intuitively do what you feel is right for you very good very good empowerment message for the empaths out there okay spirit junkies what beautiful affirmation is there for us today to focus on to help us raise our vibrations using the throat chakra Oh, wow. This is a good one. I don't know if I've ever gotten this one before. Okay, the message or the affirmation for today. The difficult relationships in my life are the perfect mirror for me to look more closely at my own behavior. The difficult relationships in my life are the perfect mirror for me to look more closely at my own behavior. I love that. 
That's a beautiful affirmation. Okay, guys, I know it was a short one, but it was a good one. And thank you so much for joining me for another high vibrational reading featuring the throat chakra. I hope you all have a beautiful night and a beautiful day tomorrow until you um, come back again to watch me again. I thank you for being here. And namaste. Love you, everybody. Thank you.